Hello everyone and welcome to the Rocky Recordings. It's a brand new playlist here that I have on my channel. Looks like I have a brand new friend and to match with the season here on October 21st of 2022, marked to date of this vlog, I'm chilling in front of a chillingly creepy house, which looks like it's the El Paso Club, which was founded in 1877, if you could see on that rock right here. And look at this amazing view that we have of a little bit of the Rockies here as we almost have a collision here on camera, almost helped with insurance policy on that one. We are on the corner of Tijon, Tejon, and Platte or Plate Street. Still a rookie with these streets um, here in downtown Colorado Springs. However, I wanted to invite you here on the very first episode of the brand new playlist, The Rocky Recordings. If you somehow didn't see it in the uh, thumbnail title here on my channel, but I wanted to invite you to go downtown with me on a small adventure and to possibly see one of my favorite pubs here called Jack Quinn's. Hopefully they allow me. I'm gonna have to ask permission the closer we get to Jack Quinn's down the street. But would you like to join me? Let's go. And as we are heading closer and closer to what I want to show you ultimately for this video. If you can see behind me, downtown Colorado Springs has a lot of artwork and it's a very beautiful downtown. This is, this is my third time being down here, especially during the day. I've came, I've came and hung out with some coworkers at some of the, the bars and nightclubs and, and such, not really my thing. So I didn't really have the, the best time. I, I like to more so sightsee, like what we're looking at right here on this intersection. However, as I was crossing the street just then, it is 74 degrees here, and I have a sweatshirt on, which is like unheard of, because if anybody knows me, I sweat really easily. But just with the thinner air, and I know we're closer to the sun, as we're very close to the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado. But it's actually kind of chilly, especially when there's a gust of wind, which is actually very surprising. But if we look across the street, we got a Colorado store, we got the candy bar, bingo burger there's so much stuff to see downtown i'm gonna have to come multiple multiple times for sure but i've really only been able to see jack quinn's the couple of other bars and nightclubs which i don't really want to go in depth with those and then just ultimately maybe a couple of hotels because i did stay in the mining exchange hotel which is a very beautiful hotel if i get permission from them might be able to see if I could possibly show a room in the future. But that would be very fun as well as we continue our vlog series. But there's a lot of activities to do. Like right behind me, there's a, there's a store where you can paint pictures of your pet and they have certain paint classes as well. We got a savory spy shop, a tattered cover bookstore and bar. But, ooh, it looks like we actually have a small brewery, Bell Brothers Brewing. I'll have to check that out as well. But just wanted to give, I guess, a, uh, a small overview over all of what we have down here and what I guess I'm going to be looking forward to and, and actually further investigating. I guess I could use investigating as the word for what I'm able to do for the next year while I'm living here in Colorado Springs area. But for a Friday? It's pretty freaking busy, especially before 5 p.m. where everybody's getting off of work. Maybe a majority of people here get off at an earlier time. I'm not exactly for sure. But it's always funny and kind of weird looking to me to be able to see those mountains in the background. However, like I stated earlier in this video, with a couple places to go out, I'm walking right by them right now. We got cowboys right here. If you like anything southern and you want to hit the town maybe with your boots on cowboys is definitely the place to go downtown i've been in there one time not my thing i prefer to wear vans as we can see but right across the street we also have blondies and the mansion and those are really good places to go for a night on the town with friends loved ones however you want to go or like me with co-workers either or doesn't matter i'm just very very impressed and very surprised with how busy downtown is 
on a Friday afternoon before five o'clock, before everybody is officially off the clock and wanting to come alive for the weekend. We've got food trucks in front of us as well. And just multiple things, so much, so much artwork on the buildings. I'll have to show you one of my favorite pieces of art as well. And of course, in typical Jeff fashion, we're gonna have to stray just a little bit off the course today as we follow these yellow footprints up to a theater, which it looks like they still do have shows showing. But I also did wanna show you the, the one art piece I was talking about because I actually, I'm just a little disoriented still, not used to downtown at all, especially with the times that I've seen it during the day and the times that I've seen it at night. However, I'm gonna go ahead and try and cross the street without getting in trouble for jaywalking because I wanna give you an up close view and a better view of what this, what this artwork looks like and what it also kind of represents because I think, it's, I think it's a really important topic as it should be. But let's get across the street and I'll show you. I have successfully crossed the street and now I am about to show you one of my favorites, if not, from what I've seen so far, from the two and a half months that I've been here since I'm just now getting situated and just now being able to vlog again, which is actually refreshing, but also slightly awkward because I haven't done it in so long. And I've just been around Disney where vlogging is kind of accepted and kind of just a normal thing. So I got some people looking at me a little bit, a little bit weird downtown here in Colorado, but this, is what I was talking about right here. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. And unfortunately, it's about a topic. Well, fortunately, it is about a topic that's unfortunately very sad and very true to the Native American population about young teen women being silenced and being raped and unfortunate stuff like that. I don't want a sad vlog, but I also want to raise awareness. And I think it's very awesome that Colorado uh, Colorado Springs in downtown is raising awareness as well of the issue going on and I love having artwork being able to explain a situation or something that needs to be solved without having to use words in the artwork and just having the artwork speak for itself but that with that I just wanted to get a little veer off a little bit of, of today's planned path to be able to show you that artwork because when I first saw that from the hotel right down the street I was very impressed and I immediately did a little bit more research on it, but that was just the shallow, very shallow information that I can uh, tell you about the artwork. And as I find my way walking across another crosswalk, we are slowly approaching it and I can see it in my vision, but I purposely crossed the street. That way I could give you a little bit better of a view and you can kind of see what the environment looks like around Jack Quinn's Irish pub here as we have a Jimmy John's, a Marco's Pizza, and the Perk Downtown Coffee and Tea House. But there is also parking, a Vectra Bank, a Chipotle, and you can see Jack Quinn's right now across the street. The construction cones, the orange cones, kind of take away from a little bit of it. But I am going to see if I can go inside and record and show you a little bit of the inside. I feel like they should, not should, I don't want to sound entitled. I feel like they're going to allow me to be able to do that. And they actually have an upstairs area that I've actually never been able to record. So hopefully I can maybe go up there as well. But let's get a, a, a better view from across the street. Just a little bit of traffic going by here. There she is. It's always also cool to see things that you're not necessarily going to see in your hometown when you go around certain areas. Like this is home to the USA men's and women's basketball teams, Olympic and Paralympic. So it's very interesting, but that is right next door to Jack Quinn's. They are neighbors. I'm going to have to check that out in the future as well, see if it's a paid tour, free tour, whatever I can do to see more of Colorado Springs. So this is the entrance of Jack Quinn's right here with the host stand. They're obviously getting ready for Halloween with the awesome season coming up. But we're gonna go ahead and go towards the back of the pub. That way we don't get too many people on camera. Don't want to uh, offend anybody or irritate anybody with that. 
But we got a live stage right there. We got decorations on the wall as well. It's going to be heavily influenced with uh, Guinness and Jameson, which only makes sense in an Irish pub, right? But very, very cool woodwork. And also the guy right here at the bar, which we see this is the downstairs bar. He was giving me interesting facts. It's one of the first original three buildings built in Colorado Springs in 1883 with original 10 roofs. And once we go upstairs as well, you're going to see that the three or four, I can't remember the exact number, but the skylights are also original to the building as well, which is really, really cool. But we have a fireplace in front of us, and we'll also see what some of the private booths look like as well. It kind of gives me a Peaky's, a Peaky Blinder feeling. Um, if you've seen that show, if you haven't, go check that out. It's an amazing show. But yeah, that's what, that's what the booth looks like right there. So... And we'll just take a small little peek at the rest of the pub from the front once again. Heavily influenced with firefighter stuff as well. I don't know the exact history about that. But let's go ahead and head to upstairs. The first time I've ever been upstairs was today. Never even thought to ask. And every time I've been there, apparently they've always had a special event going on upstairs with a wedding, birthday, etc. But you can see the firefighter stuff on the wall. There's the skylights I just mentioned a few moments ago. That is one of the... One of the, let's see, three, I think, four, I think three or four, th no, three, three skylights are original as well, and here's a little bit of the artwork up on the wall, and you can see that Guinness is going to come up on one of them like I was stating earlier. Super awesome artwork, super awesome building, I love this place, I love to just go grab a Guinness and a shepherd's pie as well. And it looks like there used to be a pool table there, no longer a pool table there anymore, but it looks like they have a small little live music stage right there as well where they can put tables in the meantime when no music is in. But let's also take a look at this awesome, awesome bar. The lady working upstairs told me that this bar came from Liverpool, and it's mermaid themed, and the, the woodwork on this is just amazing. And they even have some metal work on the bar like we just saw with the mermaids on the bar, but you got two mermaids up top, or I think three mermaids up top, and then you're also going to have five or six of those metal mermaids on the actual bar itself. What a freaking awesome place. The, one of the guys actually, he recognized me and he was like, he was like, what are you doing taking photos and videos even after I asked uh, one of the other guys, which shout out to Cooper. Thank you so much for giving me the permission and the availability to let me take photos and videos inside of Jack Quinn's. But he's like, what are you doing here? And I told him, I was like, yeah, I do a little bit of vlogging on the side and everything like that. And he thought it was pretty cool. But he gave me a little bit of facts, gave me a little bit more information, which you just heard. But I just wanted to give a special shout out and, and say thank you to the, the, the workers in Cooper, which I don't know if he's the owner of Jack Quinn's. Didn't really get that in depth. More so just he was busy at the bar. So I more so wanted to just ask and more so get permission get out of his way as fast as possible. I was only in there for maybe like five minutes. That was the first time I've actually ever been upstairs, but hopefully you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it. Always a fun time. And I got to do more videos just like this. As I make my way back to level two here in the downtown public parking for Colorado Springs, the vlog has concluded. I hope that you enjoyed Jack Quinn's Irish Pub. I couldn't go too in depth, just learned a little bit of information on Jack Quinn's, which I didn't even know until today, until the day that I vlogged, so that's also exciting. Hopefully you enjoyed the vlog too. Make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell. For more, there's gonna be way more rocky recordings to come. Snow season is upon us. Winter is coming for all of you GOT fans out there as well. However, the vlog is now over.